Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Brendan Hannigan, who's the co-founder and CEO at Sonorize Security. Sonorize Security delivers enterprise cloud security for the public cloud. And Brendan joins us today to discuss how the company operates and what kind of services they offer. Thanks for joining us today, Brendan, and welcome to the Jam. Hey, super nice to meet you, Mitchell, and uh, delighted to be here. Yeah, absolutely. So um, just to start off, for a business that hasn't worked with Sonorai before, what are some of your key products and offerings? Uh, we offer a service, Mitchell, to help people understand risk in their public cloud. So that would be AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, to help them identify the risk, automatically eliminate it, and then monitor to make sure it never comes back, and then monitor if there's any unusual activity that's happening in those public clouds. Yeah, absolutely. Very vital in today's uh, cyber climate. In terms of some of your most recent improvements and innovations in your offerings, can you explain to us a little bit about those? Yeah, we actually just came out with a new Risk Insights engine. And the Risk Insights engine is a really nice, innovative, innovative way of helping our customers, A, just score the risk across these diverse environments. So uh, within the cloud, there would be risks associated with how they've set up identity, access to data, how they've set up uh, base configurations. And so we actually help our customers score it. But actually what's really interesting is customers are struggling with alert fatigue and lots of different notifications in this area. We actually have analytics that apply uh, intelligence across all the activity to actually tell our customers, what are the things they could do right now to uh, make their risk situation better and quantify exactly how it will get better. So. Imagine basically saying, if you do these two things today, your risk profile specifically associated with identity will go down by 15% and this is what you gotta do. And it's very actionable because we tie each of those recommendations to actual remediations. This is what you gotta go to do to fix it. So what we're doing there, Mitchell is saying, here's what's happening. Here's the vast array of things which are potentially problematic in your cloud. But here are the handful of things you can do today, and here's the specific impact and how to fix it. Well, that's fantastic. And um, in terms of some of the trends that are going around at the moment, um, what kind of trends are your product development teams focusing on at the moment? We have a huge, there's a huge misconception in cloud, quite honestly, which is that, you know, within cloud, you, you, it's all about just how you set up the base cloud configuration and kind of like in a perimeter approach to cloud, which is I'm gonna worry about vulnerabilities, I'm gonna worry about basic settings. It, it is actually just scratching the surface of what can happen in cloud. Cloud is very powerful. Uh, under the covers, cloud native is all based on applications built with microservices and they're all interconnected with the identity and access management systems of the cloud. That is where the risk lies in cloud. It does, it, it, there is a risk around a perimeter, but it's just scratching the surface. Our innovation is all about understanding that risk and eliminating that risk. Ten, we have found across our customers, 10%, a full 10% of all their identities and service accounts have access to privilege, which is potentially very damaging. And across all three cloud providers, there's 40,000 entitlements which are possible to be set with 20 being added a day. What do we do? We analyze every one of those entitlements, every way it can be set, every way somebody can access data, every way entity, any entity can laterally move to sensitive data and we eliminate those connections. It's where the risk is and our innovation and all our work is about graphing that and understanding those entitlements and we're better at it than anybody else in the world. Fantastic. And uh, what are some of the main regions that you operate in? Do you have a presence and resources in um, APEC or EMA or what are the main regions? We do. So we are, we actually have uh, an uh, engin engineering people in, in North America and Canada and the United States. We have a sales presence in Europe as well. And we also have sales and technical resources in Singapore actually serving the wider APAC region. And so We've a, we've presence around the world and customers around the world too. Fantastic. And can you give us any great use cases that you've seen in the last couple of months? Absolutely. So lateral movement is an example of a of a wonderful use case and a concerning one for customers. What what is lateral movement about in the context of cloud? Lateral movement in the context of cloud is 
that there's lots of ways in which an entity inside cloud can collect privileges to move around and thus get access to data or get access to a sensitive privilege, which allows them to do something bad. So what's one of the key use cases? Our key use cases are, is to break those chains, firstly, to identify them and say, did you know that this developer through this role can get access to your production environment, which there's no way you intended that to happen. So we can show it, break the chain. The second thing we can say is, because it's not just about developers, Mitchell, it's also about, you know, so there could be, for example, a Lambda function in AWS, and that Lambda function has ways to gather privileges which give it access to maybe an admin privilege, which allows it to create a piece of computer or crypto miner. Again, we can say that function has never done that, but it could do that. You got to break that chain because if an attacker gets in, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to create a piece of compute that does something, maybe to exfiltrate data or maybe to create, we identify them and we automatically break the chain. Fantastic. And obviously people are going to be wanting to get in touch with you guys. Uh, what are some of the best ways enterprise end users can engage with you? So obviously www.sunraysecurity.com. We have, you can just initiate a request for demo there. And we've got very high, we have a lot of big enterprises. We've got many large financial institutions. We deal very much with large enterprises and commercial enterprises. We've de de delivered for them at scale. So we have a really nice team of solution architects, pre-sales engineers, and customer success people, which can help uh, help customers understand where, where they need help. Fantastic. That's a great amount of information there. Thank you so much for joining us today, Brendan. And uh, we really look forward to hearing more from Sonora Security in the future. Super. Really happy to join today. And thank you for having us on.